Hello there! It's Kristen again, and today we have some creative crafts of compassion and kindness. True story. We're talking about compassion, what it means to have compassion, and how Jesus has compassion for us. Because he loves us, we want to share that love with those around us. So we're going to make two crafts today to remember what that means and think about how we can show compassion and kindness to others. Now, the first craft that we're going to make is a fun item that you can display or have out to remember some various ways to demonstrate compassion and kindness. So we're gonna start with a good old paper plate. You can never go wrong with this for a base, right? Anyways, we're gonna have a paper plate and then we're going to turn this paper plate into a flower. So you're going to start out by putting Christ in the center of this flower. And you can do that with, I'm going to use a cupcake liner. You could also use a coffee filter, a small one, or just a circle, or you could even create a cross right here with popsicle sticks, lots of options there, but we're going to use the cupcake liner because it's a little fun and three-dimensional. gives it an extra layer of flair there. And we're just going to draw a cross on it to remember that we're placing Jesus at the center. You can do that with markers, crayons, with whatever you have available to you. Now, Gonna glue this in the center and then I'm going to make my petals. And you can color them, of course, and decorate that as much as you'd like as well. Along with this entire thing, we're going to, as usual, do kind of a basic version so you can get the idea for what we're doing, but not gonna go into depth of detail due to timing. So here's my center of my flower now. We're going to make my petals that will go all around it and what the petals are going to do is they are going to serve as my reminders of various ways that we can show compassion. So we're going to cut from basic paper or construction paper, or this happens to be cardstock. We're just going to cut out some lovely petal shapes. And you can do this however you'd like your petals to look. They can be bigger, smaller, various lengths, various shapes. You know, no flower is going to be perfect, so it's okay if your petals are not either. And we'll sort of arrange as we go to get an idea for what they're going to look like. And then I will write on them prior to gluing them onto my plate. So we'll just start with that. Like I mentioned, you can have more, you can have less, you can do however you prefer, whatever you have time for. And now I'm going to gather my petals and we're going to contemplate how we might show compassion to other people. So this is something that will be a great reminder of showing kindness or showing compassion, showing mercy. Um, so we might say, donate to charity. We might say, help with extra chores. Of course, this is gonna be tailored to your students or children or whoever you're working with and encourage them to come up with some creative ways they could demonstrate compassion. So we might say, make cookies for neighbors. Maybe we can volunteer at a nursing home. Maybe we can walk 
a neighbor's dog. And maybe we can call someone from church. Maybe you have an older friend, a shut-in. Now that things are opening back up, some of these opportunities are again available to us that perhaps were not before. Now I'm also going to make a little stem for my flower so I can hold it up. And this part you can make into a cross shape if you like, or you can just make a regular, um, use popsicle sticks by themselves. So I'm going to make my stem here. Maybe we even want to add some flowery flair to it as well. And this is going to go behind my plate. So we'll add that on. You might need to wait a little bit for it to dry. And here we have our flower of compassion. So now we're going to glue those petals on. You can use glue or tape, depending on how much time you have. If you're not patient enough or your students are not patient enough to wait for the glue to dry, you can always use tape or staples. Staples work just as well and tend to not fall off as easily. So here we have our glue. And then we're just going to arrange our flower petals around this. And evidently, our flower petals need more glue. There we go. Make sure that these can all be red because the idea here is now you have some great thoughts and things to keep in mind for, hey, it's raining, what should we do? Or, hmm, it's time that we show someone kindness and compassion. How can we do that? Well, here's a whole bunch of ideas that you could use. You could pick one, one a week, one a day, one a month, one whenever you're feeling like it. But this gives you some ideas of ways that you can demonstrate the love of Jesus and compassion to those around you. So there's our craft number one to demonstrate compassion. And you can, you can either put it on the stick or you can loop a string or something through that top and make it something you can hang up. That's an option as well. Compassion craft number two is going to be a little kindness blessing bag. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can do this. You can, one great way to do it is to make a, something with the intention that perhaps if you see someone in need, someone who is um, asking for money on the side of the road or someone who is hurting and homeless, then you can make something that's specific geared to that. The one we're making today is more just a generic, here's a fun bag to give to someone who maybe is having a rough day or needs a little bit of extra love and care. And so we're going to put a little label with it to explain the things that we're putting inside of it. And we're also going to start by decorating the bag. You can use a plain lunch bag. You can use a gallon size Ziploc bag. You can use a gift bag. The possibilities and options are endless, but we're gonna use a lunch bag today. And so we're going to make our little caption that goes with this. And this is going to explain the items that we're putting inside of the bag. We're also going to decorate the outside of the bag. We're gonna decorate one side of it. Of course, you probably want to decorate both, but again, in the interest of timing, we're going to just do one. So we're gonna put some fun stickers over here and we can label the bag something simple. Like maybe we'll say, you are loved, you are special, you are amazing, you are great, you know, something like that. And again, be more creative than this. This is our speed of time decoration job. Now on our little card here, we're going to mention 
the items that are inside. And we might say something like some things to get you through. And again, maybe it's someone who has had a rough day or are going through a challenging time, or maybe they're going away from home, or maybe they're returning from somewhere. Um, it could be, there could be a lot of people that you could potentially give this to, but here's some of the items that we're going to put inside. We're gonna put a little cross. And the cross is to remember Jesus loves you, of course. That's the most important thing you could give someone. But maybe they also need a little bit of some other types of comfort. So we're going to give them some snacks to munch on. And we're going to give them a solid rock because Jesus is a rock. And we're going to give them some band-aids in case they're hurt. Band-aids for boo-boos. You could have this be something that's typed up and the kids decorate, of course. And I'm even gonna throw in some socks. And that could be if it's cold or just any time. Socks are always great, right? So then we've got our little caption there. And then we're going to roll this up and place it in our baggie. Along with our items. So here we have our socks. We have some snacks. Some more snacks, some um, water energy stuff, gum, gum is always good. Band-aids, of course that cross. Then if you'd like to make this decorative, you could bag it up, you could staple this, or you could hole punch it and then tie a lovely ribbon through it. Oh, I forgot my rock. So we could tie some ribbon through to kind of make it look extra fun and fancy. Hole punch has gone missing, but that's all right, because I'm gonna need to take these items out for display anyhow. So we're just going to pretend like that's just tied in there. And there you have your bag, and this could be something that you keep in your car, you keep in the bedroom. Um, you tell kids, you know, if you know somebody who's hurting and they need now, give them to them now. If you're not really sure, wait a little while. And someone, somewhere, somehow, some way, will be in need. And this is something that you could say, hey, this is just a little fun goodie bag to brighten your day, cheer you up, put a smile on your face. But those are a couple of ideas for how we can show compassion to one another because Jesus has shown compassion for us and loves us, on us, to us, for us, however he shows compassion. He does, and he loves us. So a couple of ideas to hopefully get your mental wheels spinning and going, and you are, as always, welcome to adapt, change, completely copy, completely do something else, uh, but hopefully this will give you some ideas that you can work with as you teach your children and students the importance of compassion. We do have new videos coming out every week with ideas for crafts and children's messages. So hope that you like and subscribe, ring the notifications so you know when we post a new video. And I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed week. Make some fun crafts, make some disciples. See you next time.